Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use TLSS for upscale in conjunction with XCSS frame generation in Horizon Forbidden West. It's the complete edition. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. Even XCSS low latency mode will work. This guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This game officially supports TLSS and FSR 3.1, both upscaling and frame generation. With FSR, even the upscaler is decoupled from FSR frame gen. We can combine TLSS upscaler with FSR frame gen. The thing is, in-game FSR frame generation is not compatible with NVIDIA Reflex. It produces some noticeable latency even when the base FPS is close to 60. It also comes with some graphical artifacts, the usual ones like flickering of a shadow during fast visual motion. Double images around the left or right edge of the display whenever a character is closer to either edge and we spin the camera around. I'll highlight these artifacts in the video. As this game supports TLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.2, theoretically, OptiScaler mod's TLSS GUI Streamline frame generation shows should have worked properly for enabling XSS frame gen. But if you use this frame generation source in this game, the smoothing effect of XSS frame generation won't work properly. The animation quality will look choppy during fast visual motion. This problem can be fixed very easily by using FSR 3.1 FG as the frame generation source. The game officially supports FSR 3.1, so this frame generation source option works just fine. We are not required to deal with hard fix. I'll be using the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9 preview 3 20250911 available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Just click on the dot .7z link here. The game comes with an older version of TLSS Upscaler. I'll override TLSS Upscaler via NVIDIA app. Just open NVIDIA app, click on graphics here, click on the three dots, click on refresh. The list will show you all of the games installed on your PC. And just select Horizon Forbidden West from the list. Now just scroll down until you find this setting. DLSS override model presets. Click on the pencil icon next to it. Select latest. Apply. That's it. I'll be using DLSS debug overlay to verify the upscaler's details. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Select the files, copy. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will activate TLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click open. Yes, OK. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open the mod's archive file. Select the highlighted files, optiscaler.ini, optiscaler.tll, libxcss underscore fg.dll, frame generation, dxlen version of xcss not required, xcss super resolution dll file, xcss low latency mode dll file, fake nvapi.ini, fake nvapi.tll, fake nvapi replaces in game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode, newcom nice mod not required, Vulcan version of fidelity fx file not required, Select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Copy. I'll show you where to paste them. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste everything here. Replace. Now just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Mod has been installed. Enabling hardware related GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCSS frame gen, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, then click on display settings. Click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware related GPU shuttling setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. The idea is to combine G-Sync, in-game reflex, and NVIDIA control panel vSync. This combination results in the lowest possible latency and a tier free experience in any game. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings. 
from this top down bar select horizon forbidden west scroll down to the end enable vsync from here my monitor is gsync compatible i'll enable the corresponding settings for it click on setup gsync and enable the following settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable gsync compatible indicator step is optional click on display and check the setting gsync compatible indicator i'll be using rtss and afterburner to show you the performance metrics open rtss click on setup scroll down to the end make sure enable frame rate limiter setting and inject nvidia reflex latency marker setting are disabled and enable use microsoft's d2's api hooking setting now rtss should not affect the functioning of optiskiller mod we are ready to run the game settings just make sure display mode is not set to exclusive full screen full screen mode is basically borderless full screen in this game full hd resolution upscale dlss using its quality preset frame generation disable for the time being vsync off reflex is on i am using the high settings with post processing effects disable all of them motion blur send nil ready to run the game yeah we are in this aloy open optiskiller menu by pressing the insert keyboard key there it is upscaler dlss version 310.3.0 input in game dlss txj spoofing off dlss auto exposure setting it's on can be verified via dlss debug overlay which is shown in the bottom left corner render preset is k this is the transformer model of dlss4 no frame generation enabled i'll enable optiskiller's performance overlay expand fps overlay section check fps overlay enable setting full plus graph save and i close it's a gorgeous looking open world game thank god this game was not built using unreal engine 5 otherwise it would have stuttered constantly traversal stutters just observe aloy's shadow during motion it looks sharp fsr frame generation will make it look a bit blurry very common graphical artifact also observe the left edge of the display Aloy is close to it. When I spin the camera, no ghosting is produced around the left edge. FPS here stays with a range of 60 to 70. Now I'll enable in-game FSR frame generation. Display settings frame generation set to FSR frame gen. Apply. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 100. Animation quality is looking much smoother now. But I'm also observing some latency. Playing the game using mouse and keyboard, looking around using my mouse, yeah there is some latency. Okay, just observe Aloy's shadow during fast visual motion, yeah it's looking a bit blurry. That sharpness is gone now. And just observe the left edge of the display. Aloy's bow, it's exhibiting some ghosting when I spin the camera. When the bow is close to the left edge of the display. No ghosting is produced around Aloy's character model. Some minor artifacts produced by FSR frame gen. Also some latency. Now I'll show you how to enable XSS frame gen using OptiScaler. Let's open the mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select FSR 3.1 FG to not select TLS GY streamline as the option. Now click on the drop down bar next to FG output. Select XCFG as the option. Save and I close. We need to restart the game. Play. Now open display settings. Make sure NVIDIA reflex setting is enabled. And set frame generation to FSR frame generation. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. You need to check this setting active under frame generation XCFG. And this should enable XCSS frame gen. Yeah, frame time graph became thick. Debug view. If XCSS frame gen is working, then you will see these purple sidebars flickering. Uncheck the debug view. Show detected UI setting enable. Yeah. The UI elements are highlighted pink in color. I'll also use XCSS inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features. Disable show detected UI setting. Minimize the game. Run inspector app. Click on show all processes. Okay, game got pause. Need to resume it. Yeah. 
Now look for Horizon Forbidden West. There it is. Double click. XCSS low latency mode. It's on. You can see the valid frames getting generated. Game got paused again. Working. XCSS FG context running. Stopped working because the game paused. Try to resume it. Yeah, it's running. See. Graph should pop up. There you go. It's all good here. Back to the game. FPS is close to 90. XCSS frame gen is slightly heavier than the in game FSR frame gen. Just observe the left edge of the display when I spin the camera. Okay, minor ghosting is produced around Aloy's bow. See? This ghosting effect was more pronounced when I was using the in game FSR frame generation. Very difficult to observe this ghosting. There it is. And just observe Aloy's shadow. It's looking sharp even during fast visual motion. Smoothing effect of XSS frame gen. Yeah, it's working properly. Games hard elements. They are not flickering. Even the crosshair is not flickering. So less graphical artifacts with XSS frame gen. And the controls feel more responsive than FSR frame gen. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Shoot the green canister. This thing should explode. There you go. Low on HP. Not observing any frame placing issues. I played the game for about an hour with XSS frame gen enabled. Didn't encounter any crashes. Game worked very nicely. I tried using the first test build of OptiScaler in this game. It was causing the game to crash whenever I opened my map. This crashing issue is not present with this build. Resume the game. Everything is working properly. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.